Hi there, welcome back to Silver Lining Art. My name is Anish and in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite birds, a coppersmith barbed that I painted in my sketchbook. Hope you enjoy this video. The bird in this painting is a coppersmith barbed. And here's a painting I did of a coppersmith barbed a little while ago. And it's a pretty beautiful bird. It's small, it's probably the size of your hand or more like the size of your palm. And it's called the coppersmith barbet in reference to its call, it's the sound that it makes. It sounds like a coppersmith is beating a hammer onto metal at a distance. So I'll stop talking for a moment and increase the volume of the background that I have. It's of the call. I found this call on, on YouTube, it's a pretty good recording, I'll put the link in the description below. But they keep calling like this for hours together every day. And I always wonder what are they calling so much for, so repetitively and in, in the same way. And usually the repetitive calling can mean one of few things. First is that it's trying to find a mate. And but I, this word is quite common and I don't see why they have to work that hard to find a mate. And on the contrary, it can be to mark its territory. But then there's not, it's not that common either. They usually like to hang out and eat uh, on fruiting trees and usually they're loaded with fruits and it seems like there isn't that much of a resource competition going on either. So I don't know why they have to be very territorial. It's quite interesting and they keep calling like this for a really long time. And one thing I know about our brains is that we filter out a lot of information that we get. So we're always bombarded with so many different sounds and we tend to, our brain has learned which ones are the important sounds and which ones are not. So for instance, when you're listening to me right now, you, you know that what I'm saying, your brain knows what I'm saying is important and worth paying attention to and not the traffic sounds in the background. The same way, my brain for some reason thinks the call of the coppersmith barbed is the most important thing. And it's always the most important thing whenever this bird is calling, I can't stop hearing it uh, it's quite it's quite funny and people who know me know that I get uh, distracted by birds quite easily and if there's a bird calling I'm usually uh, looking around to find it especially I, I enjoy this so much when there's a cacophony of birds and there's so many different calls I love to try to isolate each one of them and figure out what species is making it and it's especially more fun when you're doing this with other bird watchers, it's a it's a really fun pastime. And uh, in this video, I'm going to have probably two types of audiences. Um, one, uh, people who know what a coppersmith barbet sounds like and you and know exactly what they are getting into, and then this other who learned about this bird for the first time and now have heard its call for about three minutes straight. And if after listening to this video and watching me paint this bird if the next time you hear a bird call and you're like oh what bird it is if you're in india if would you try to figure out if it is a coppersmith barbet even if it gives you a moment of pause to stop and hear a bird call i think my job for this video has been a success Hey there, hope you enjoyed this video. I had a complete blast painting this and I enjoy painting so many birds. I have put together a playlist of all the bird painting videos right here. So do check it out if you enjoy birds. See you next time.